Welcome back everyone to my playthrough of Doom 64 and today's level number 5 Tech Center. I'm playing on the Watch Me Die difficulty and as you can see right at the start we have a lot of doors around us and a lot of passages and I'd like to take this passage first and explore it. Now, <clears throat> you probably noticed that this version of the game features a lot of dark ambient music and that's probably because of the limitations of the Doom 64 or Nintendo 64 console, but I still like this uh, music for this game. Now. We are in this room with a lot of crates and a lot of items. To grab those items we have to press this switch and then go over here. And from here we will be able to travel on top of these crates. Just like this. It's not that hard to do. So grab everything you need <coughs> and we are done with this area, except there's one more <coughs> secret over here. This door can be opened and you can grab this uh, mega armor. Now let's take the opposite passage now, which is this one. It has some nightmare imps inside. But we also have to press the switch in order to progress. Why? Because it will unlock this passage for us. Which is the next area that we need to go. It has some Hell Knights inside. Proceed over here. Blowing those barrels will kill that specter over there. <coughs> Be careful, there are more enemies up above. This dark ambient music is so creepy at times, I should say. Alright, here we need to <coughs> press the switch. And also, don't forget to open that door because we have some enemies. This area is done and we can move back. Alright, so we took three passages out <coughs> out of these all of these. But there there's also two doors, unmarked doors here that don't require any keys. So we will take them right now. This passage is blocked for now, so we cannot go there. Let's go here instead. Alright, so that switch that we pressed earlier in the previous room 
it actually lowered down this platform with the yellow key. Because, uh, previously it was blocked, it wasn't accessible, but the switch basically lowered that platform and we can grab the yellow key now. So with the yellow key all we left to do is to take the yellow door. Let's do that right now. key is blocked for now so we cannot take it but we still need to flip that switch because <coughs> because it will um, it will um, unlock the passage that we saw earlier the barred passage before we go there I'd like to take that uh, mega sphere or soul sphere so to do that and I found this by experimenting with the environment you have to step on top of this um, uh, light rectangle on the floor and shoot that square in on the wall and then <coughs> move to the right and shoot another square on the right wall. It will lower down basically those bars and you will be able to take the soul sphere. Alright, now let's go to that uh, area that we saw earlier and as you can see the bars are now lowered and we can proceed now uh, I missed that shotgunner here we have a berserk pack but we don't need it and also <coughs> that's probably because I'm playing on watch me die difficulty and that difficulty is quite difficult <laughs> That door is locked, but not for a long. I was trying to switch to rockets and uh, I missed a shot from the Hell Knight, but that's okay. Now, that switch unlocked these doors with a single lost soul inside and this switch will unlock the other door which is here uh, be careful this this is actually a trap a series of crushers so we need to be careful and a surprise inside Not only I missed a shot from the Hell Knight, but I al also was crashed by the Crusher because I was trying to back up. But anyway, that's okay. For the next en encounter, I will use my <coughs> Unmaker just because I can. <laughs> just like that. Alright, so. We still don't have the right key, but I suppose that right now we can grab it, so let's go and grab the red key. Because the switch in the previous area unlocked it, so we can now grab it. With a surprise Hell Knight. Now, before we go there, there's one more area unlocked right over here so be sure to visit it and now we can go to the vent inside the red door is a blue key but to grab it you have to step inside the blue rectangle that's the only way where you will be safe 
just like that. So. Anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> All right, let me go grab some health over here. Now let's go to the to the blue door because we have the blue key, obviously. I'm a little low on health, but that's okay. Now we need to take this teleporter, but uh, it's not working right now. So to make it work, just press the switch and quickly go to the teleporter. Be careful, there's a surprise inside. And for the next encounter, I will also be using my unmaking. And I will switch to rockets. Just because we have a lot of them here. Also, I forgot to use my chain gun. I've never used it in this level, but oh well. Now. We can go back and uh, deal with the final cluster of enemies. I will probably be using rockets again for them. There's one more Hell Knight. You will have bullets. And that's all for this level, I think. No, sorry, I was wrong. That's not all for this level. Actually, these bars should be open for for now. I probably missed something in the previous area. Yes, I missed a switch over here and another enemy as you can see. Now we are good to go back because these bars are now open. See how fast Unmaker works on these enemies. And those were the last enemies in this level. Yeah. So we now can exit. That was level number 5, Tech Center. That's a pretty interesting level. I like the progression in, the, in this level. It also has uh, interesting secret areas and also <coughs> encounters, especially that uh, surprise Hell Knight in one of the areas. It's really <laughs> scary sometimes, but anyway. I hope you like this playthrough, I will see you in the next one, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel to see more videos and I will see you on the next level, thanks for watching, bye bye.